page after page, of useless tongues, and foolish incantations, enough of books. Be gone with the books, Mumbo Jumbo. And I never possess the last.
That's not yours. Where did you get it? Get it here. There's a nice start. One thousand apologies for your egg. Hunger overcame me, and I knew you had the precious and fine sense in all of Shema. Won't you accept this and save me? We don't want your payments. We want you to stop your history. And Adam and as for your current, I apologize for my own Won't you take these apples and let me know if you're forgiven? You have a great time in Toronto. It's not easy to stay here with me. It's your poor mother who's my most sorry. You're a dreamer. You're lazy. Well, yeah, but what do you chop? Heads, mostly. 
Sometimes hands. It doesn't really matter. I'm not particular. Well, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. Who does this strange boy belong? I'm his mother, sir. I'm a widow, a poor woman who sells apples and vegetables. I am his sister. If I were you two, I keep this fellow locked up. I think the boy may be mad. No one has ever shaken the hand of a royal executioner. It isn't done. You don't know Aladdin. He does whatever he wants. Well, then answer me this. Why must no one look upon the face of Princess Jasmine? It's a rule. Yes, but why is it a rule? You ask too many questions, boy. Dispatch yourself at once. Otherwise, I chop and I chop. <laughs> I love watching with that sword. Have you ever thought about taking up juggling? Wretched boy, next time I won't miss. Inside, inside, lock the doors and bar the windows. It's forbidden to look upon the face of Princess Jasmine. Give me that scarf, you'll never see another banana again. One thousand apologies, Princess Joe. Yolanda, if I knew my monkey would have stolen it from you, I would have scolded him harshly. What is her name? Everyone in this age smart knows my name. We don't. Yes, my dear. Whatever you say, my dear. Lock and key. The queen. The sultana. Quick, Aladdin, we must hide. Let's go. There you are, Jasmine, daughter. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Bad princess, running off from the royal procession. As for you two, it's the palace dungeon. Oh, oh! You misunderstood, mother. Zara and Chico only ran after me and took me back. They're completely innocent. I only went off to chase a monkey. To chase a monkey? The monkey still feels a stash from scarf. What does one scarf matter? But the palace dungeon feels a tennis and I can make a Maybe yes, maybe not. It depends. Ah, there you are, Jasmine, daughter. I found her. No thanks to you, husband. Cousin Queen Sultana! What is it, Ali Baba? Am I to marry Princess Jasmine? I told you that depends. Don't interrupt, husband. <sighs> After all, you are my third cousin twice removed. And I've always been most fond of your mother, who is, of course, my second cousin twice removed. Or is she my first cousin thrice removed? Or maybe she's my third cousin and never me. It always confuses me. You know the law of the land, wife. Anyone who wishes can petition for the hand of Princess Jasmine. They can petition, but that doesn't mean that they stand a chance, right? Wife knows best. Chop, chop! Here, Queen Sultana. Let the royal procession continue. It shall be so. Inside, inside, lock the doors and bar the windows. It's forbidden to look upon the face of Princess Jasmine. Come along, daughter. It's time to return to the palace. Father, I don't want to marry Ali Baba. You stupid thing is vain. All he wants to do is sit on the cushion of the eggs all day. Is that what you dislike about him? That and his turban. His turban? I can never tell when he's wearing his turban and when he isn't. His head is so big. Trust in fate, my daughter. Leave everything to kiss man. We should get back to the palace.
What do you make of that, Alakazam? Yolanda was no Yolanda. She was the princess. Oh, you are the nimble one. Give it here. I shall never part with this. Can I tell you a secret? One day, I'm going to marry Princess Jasmine. <laughs> Go on, laugh. That's what monkeys do best. You there, boy. You mean me? I come from a great distance. I search a boy with the name of Aladdin. Do you know such a boy? That's me. I'm the boy you seek. I'm Aladdin, yes I am. And this is Alakazam. At your service, at your service, at your service, man. At your service. Aladdin. You are certain? I ought to know my own name. I'm the only one with the name of Aladdin in the entire city of Shemar. Then the crystal may lie. Crystal? This is the place. Aladdin, blood of my blood, child of my dear brother. Tell me, Aladdin, does my dear brother still live? My father died a long time ago. I didn't know he had a brother. I live very far away, but I've returned to Shemar to claim something dear to me. What is it? All in good time, Aladdin, nephew, tell me. How would you like to be rich? Will it cost anything? A little of your time, nothing more. Who's she? A servant of mine. Pay her no attention. My mother and sister, Nila. We are very poor. I'm sure you won't meet them. Later. Time is precious. This choice is yours. To stay poor or become rich. What do you say, Alexander? Shall we chance it? Alexander's poor. He's a greedy little monkey. A smart one, too. I can see that. You will remain in the city. Acquaint yourself with the local gossip. If that is your wish. Come, nephew. This is your lucky day. I'll say. I meet my future bride. I meet an uncle I never knew I had. And I'm going to be rich. Must you take such small steps? I'm tired, uncle. You didn't say anything about turning in the mountains. The object I seek is located in the Valley of the Moon. The Valley of the Moon? Is that where we're headed? That's miles from here. I'm thirsty. So is Alakazam. You must learn to control your thirst. Once there's a lamp, you might drink until you burst. What's so special about the lamp? What's so special about that lamp?
uncle. <laughs> I'm along for turning back if you are. Turning back? Is that what you said? Uh, why can't you go get the lamp yourself? Because I would have to enter the cave. Entering caves is against my philosophy. Whatever that means. We're wasting time. How do I know you won't leave me in the cave to die thirst? An obstinate boy! Here, to show my good faith, I'll give you a ring. Each ring I wear is worth the Sultan's ransom. Mm, no. No. Alakazam says that one. Never. If you won't give me that ring, I won't go fetch the ring from the cave for you. Have it your way. I'll get the ring back later. <laughs> Satisfied? Indeed, Uncle, it is a handsome ring. Look! Look at what? There, that black shadow in the sun it circles round and round. It's only a vulture. It marks the entrance to the cave of the lamp. Wonderful, wonderful! What are you waiting for, Aladdin? Hurry, hurry! Well, whatever happens, we haven't wasted our time. I can sell this in the bazaar, and you, me, Mother, and Nila, and I can live well for a month. Yeah, yeah, the lamp. Best to humor him. You understand what you are to do? I understand. The cave is beyond. Get to the ledge and climb in. Yes, yes. There are many riches in the cave. Rare jewels, diamonds, sapphires, pearls, silver and gold. Take what you will of them, but first the lamp. It's so dark in here, I can barely see. Your eyes will adjust to the dimness. Patience, patience. Look who's talking. I will stand guard outside. I want to make sure we haven't been followed. Call when you have the lamp. Remember, first the lamp. Ask for a candle or a lantern. Uncle! Oh, what's the use? He's only interested in the lamb. I wonder how long it's been since someone's seen the inside of this place. What's that? Who's there? Oh, it's only you, Alakazam. How'd you get in? Ah, oh, from some crevice in the rock, eh? You are a clever monkey. Ah! A dragon! No wonder my uncle didn't want to enter the cave. It's guarded by a fierce dragon. Run, Alakazam, run! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, why look, Alakazam? This dragon is so old it can no longer breathe fire and smoke. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Alakazam, see if you can come for the dragon. I'm gonna go look for the lamp. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Don't worry. <clears throat> as soon as me and all I can get that lamp, we'll be out of here. We won't tell anyone you're over there. You can speak. So can you. I can understand what you say. Animals can always understand one of them, but humans have no comfort. The foulest thing cursing the eye invisible head. I've been waiting here for someone to enter the cave for so long. It's my big chance. And I blew it. I didn't blow it. I had no fire or something for me, though. You're out of practice, that's good. Cool. Alakazam, you should see what's back there. Bags and sacks of jewels. Do you have the lamp? 
I have it here. Give me the lamp, quickly by the lamp! What's your hurry? Patience. Patience. Don't mock me, Aladdin. The lamp, I say. First take the jewels. Never mind about the jewels. Hand me the lamp. Obey me! He's gone red in the face. If I give him the lamp, he might leave us in here. All he has to do is close the stone door. The lamp! I won't give you the lamp. I don't trust you. Then keep the lamp and be cursed! No! Uncle! Uncle, don't leave me! He's closed the stone door. Only a magician can open or close that stone door. Alakazam, is that crevice in the rock big enough for me to fit through? Then you better go along. Save yourself. Oh, you are a loyal friend. <laughs> I'm gonna find fix now. Wait, you're a magical genie. You can get us out of here. Each genie has special powers, but each genie can only do so much. I can produce jewels and jewels and more jewels, and that is all. The Vatican jewels. Alas. This ring didn't bring me much luck either. Give it a rub. What? Gently rub the ring on, Master. If you say so. serve me well. It is said she is to marry a fool by the name of Ali Baba. It's the Queen's wish. Perhaps this Ali Baba will meet with an accident. <laughs> I can prepare a dish of poison figs. Let's not rush things. Patience, patience. You have done well, sister. Thank you, my brother. To tell the truth, I am glad to see the last of Aladdin. I cannot abide stubbornness, and he was a stubborn boy. I didn't like his monkey either. One door closes and another opens, and the second door is named Princess Jasmine. Apples! I have apples! Finest apples in the city of Shamar! Two bunches of carrots, Mother. You should sell. Carrots! I have carrots! Who will buy? Finest carrots of all of Shamar! Business has not gone this bad. Perhaps tomorrow will be better. I am so hungry. You have no reason to be hungry, Mother. We have apples, carrots, and cabbage. I am not a horse who loves apples, nor a rabbit who lives on vegetables. For the taste of lamb sausage, fire, sweet olive oil. Mother! Nila! It's alive. My son has decided to honor us with a visit. Don't be angry with me, Mother. I've had an amazing adventure. Always adventure? I met this magic magician. Magician? Magician? He said he was my uncle, father's brother. Your father had no brother, Aladdin. Only a boy with the name of Aladdin can enter the cave. What cave? The cave of the lamp. See? I see a dirty old man. The genie of the jewels says they're mine. All the jewels I want. Genie? 
Yeah. Deities, caves, magicians, you are making no sense. Such a beautiful shawl to wear. I can't have you speaking to the sultans in rags now, can I?
So far, so good. Three princes of China, two of Nepal, one of India and one of Afghanistan have asked for my daughter's hand in marriage. They're wasting their time. This foolish law about allowing one and all to petition. Law of the land. No need to remind me. But I want to marry Princess Jasmine. Hush, precious. Here, you hold my umbrella. I'm going to eat the fish. Hurry to mom. We've got another dozen streets to visit. Are there any petitioners for the hand of Princess Jasmine? There. What did I tell you? Ancient law or no ancient law. It's stupid. You there, storyteller. Announce our approach to the next street. I'm supposed to say that. Then say it! Announce our approach to the next street. Wait! Who speaks? Forgive me, Sultan. Forgive my insolence. I speak for my son. He has no father to speak for him. I'm listening. He wishes to marry your daughter? <laughs> I wish to see this important young man. What is his name? Aladdin, illustrious one. Aladdin? You heard my husband. Where is your son? Come, come, woman. Where is this Aladdin? Here I am, Sultan of Solomons. You dream about the station. However, today is a day like no other. So you might be spared. Thousand thanks, my mom. The Prince of India has offered the Sultan a hundred fighting elephants, each one painted gold. A Prince of China offered a dozen trading ships, each filled with rare spices and herbs. A Prince of Afghanistan offered magnificent horses. The number is far too great to calculate. And what do you offer, boy? I offer. My love. My love for Princess Jasmine.
love, that's all. The lad has the soul of a poet. Don't talk nonsense. My love for Princess Jasmine. But for you, my queen and queen sultana, behold! Step forward. Is this match agreeable to you? It's agreeable to Jasmine because it's agreeable to me. Your I'm daughter? I'm content. Then it shall be so. Wait, where is the princess to live? What? What? Someone in the audience ask where the princess is to live. I hadn't thought of that. I'll add it. You have a palace for my daughter, yes? It must be the most magnificent palace ever seen. Uh, well, I have no palace at the moment. <laughs> but I can see that one is single. When the palace is ready, you may have the hand of my daughter. Yes. What about me? Eat a fig, Alibaba. What are you going to do tomorrow? I will have the lamp. I will wed the princess. I will become Sultan of Shamar. And I will destroy Aladdin. Until then. What? Intermission. <laughs>
Marks are hand-woven and fabulous. Stories! Buy a story from Scheherazade! I have all kinds of stories! Who needs man's stories? We like the song for our endless. She needs Aladdin. Imagine. A story for one day and who's the next? He hasn't married Princess Jasmine yet. It will come to pass soon. His palace for Princess Jasmine is almost complete. And what are palace? If Queen Sultana was bedazzled by all these jewels, imagine when he sees the palace. Wonders of wonders! Be it known on this day, the Sultan of Samar will visit the palace under construction for his daughter, the Princess Jasmine. Anyone who leaves a cart or dog can the will be given a ticket. Clear the streets. We better leave. That's not a good idea. I hear it's truly a love match. If you mean Princess Jasmine truly loves Aladdin, and Aladdin truly loves Princess Jasmine, I think so myself. I don't believe in love. It gets in the way of good marriage. You have a lot of ice where another has a heart. As each his own. Stories! Be Buy a story from Jaharazad! I have all kinds of stories! Construction for his darling Princess Jasmine. Behold, they approach the Sultan and Sultana. How many rooms have you done? Pass it, I don't, I don't keep count. That'd be vulgar. Too many rooms. Walk, walk, walk. My embroidered slippers are smoking. Be quiet, Alibaba. No one has asked for your opinion. I, my life is ruined. I thought I was supposed to be the Princess Jasmine. I thought I was supposed to be the new Sultan of Shamar. Now instead, all I'm going to do is hold this stupid umbrella! It's a job. <laughs> Indeed, Your Majesties, this is a great honor. So we have to come into the palace. Is it never to be finished? No sooner do I finish one room that decides my grand enough for Princess Jasmine. This section of the palace is next to be finished. I plan for each room to have arches of blue tile and white marble. Each room will have a pool of bubbling mountain water. And the ceiling will be a canopy of whispering soap. My daughter is most fortunate. I have but one objection. Think not all. You make my palace look like a hobby. Don't be idiotic, Kevin. Besides, what belongs to Aladdin belongs to us. After all, he is a relative. I'm a relative. Be, be quiet, quiet. Alibaba. <laughs> So, Aladdin, my son to be. I am Queen Sultana. I was wondering. Speak and pray. Can I have some more jewels? I always say, a woman can never have enough jewels. It was my command. What is your return, Master? Queen Sultana wishes for more jewels. You wish me to present her with yet another platter of sparkle? Pretty. That is my wish. Then it shall be so. Isn't she so sweet? Lovely. I was speaking to Alibaba. These are my plans for the new garden site. I'll explain them to you later. But my jewels, where will they go? Is this enough? For now. Let's go. You will find my plans most interesting, my soldier. I shall study them with pleasure. You will guide your majesty to the garden site. If it will please you, master. It will. Follow me, please. Don't drop any of my jewels. I don't want them if they have dirt on them. I'll be along in a moment. I'll finish the point. To the gardens. 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 <laughs> this palace is taking too long. I think I'll finish things up. Where did I put it? Ah, there it is. Shall I give it a rub? Okay.
Okay. I've just had to finish the palace. Everything? Top to bottom. Can you do it? Of course, if I need not make any more changes. Well, how long do you need? An hour? Ten minutes on the go. Plus okay. time. You've got ten minutes. Oh boy, I'll tell the song the wedding can take place today. I'll have Mother and Mila arrange a great feast. <laughs> if I want to be a thousand and one years, I'll never see all the rooms in this palace. Your mother, the Sultana, is so glad you have to build a palace like no other. The most magnificent I've ever seen. Yeah, build them. Surely I'm blessed to marry one that I love. I wish I could find a husband like Aladdin. Rich? I would love Aladdin, even if he were poor. You were really mean that Princess Jasmine. If only you could read the love thy spirits. No house you chose ever compared to the two gifts of love. <sighs> it's Aladdin's monkey, Alice is It's Aladdin's dragon! Dragon! What are they doing? Stop it! Stop that! Stop! 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 stop. You 
must do what I command. What is true, master? <laughs> Will you marry me willingly? Never. Never such a long time. Perhaps a change of scenery will do you some good. A lie will punish you. Bah. When I command it, send this palace and all within to the shores of Morocco. Say what? By the time the Sultan realizes the palace has flown, he will blame Aladdin. I wouldn't want to be in his slippers. Chop, chop. <laughs> you heard my command to the shores of Morocco. Say when? When? The earth is shaking. There's a rumbling sound in the air. It's, it's an earthquake. Why is everything hot? I forbid any mischief. Nothing to fear. I have my sword. Chop, chop. I've seen this kind of thing before. Never see the princess ever again, and nor will I. 
Job, job. Wait! I don't know what game you're playing with me, Aladdin, but I will hold your mother and sister hostage. You have 24 hours if you do not return the palace of Jasmine. You need to sing the mama song. I never have any fun. You have greatly disappointed me. I thought you were in the palace. Was it Jamal? Okay, he must have taken it. Um, I'm gonna find fix now. How are we gonna get out of this? Oh, wait, the genie of the ring can help us. Show. 
delights in the flavor. I will never offer a courtesy, stupid girl. You're playing with fire. What are you going to do, princess? I don't know. You must think of something. How can I think of anything except Latin? Oh, I hope it isn't true. My father would never send a letter to the block. Not a letter. Oh, only if a letter were here. If only I could see him one more time. Your wish is my command, princess. Aladdin! At your service. How did you get here? No time for that. Where's the lamp? It's all my fault. I wanted to please you. I gave the lamp to an old peddler. I didn't know what kind of lamp it was. And the old peddler was... Jamal. We'll be here in a moment, Aladdin. You must hide. Well, you guys, go outside to stand guard. Yes, yes. The lamp. Where is the lamp? Jamal keeps her by his side. We must get it. I could have asked for it as a gift. No, that would never work. It's a speck something. His sister was here. She said I should offer him a cup of nectar. Nectar? Desert peach. I have it. Thanks be to Sinbad. Sinbad? He's an old sailor friend of mine. He knows all sorts of tricks. I knew this would come in handy one day. What is it? It's called Boosh. It'll make a charging tiger sleep. Put this in Jamal's cup of nectar, and getting the lamp should be easy. I hope it works. He's heading his way! Hi, Aladdin! Take it. Princess Jasmine awaits my brother. Leave us. Have you come to your senses? I'm not a simple girl, Jamal. I'm a practical woman. Indeed. I know I cannot find destiny. If fate decrees I am to be your wife, then so be it. You will not find me ungenerous. Our marriage shall take place on the morrow. Then we shall return to Shamar and I will claim the throne. May I offer you a cup of nectar? I'm told it's your favorite. How quickly you learn the ways of submission. To think that foolish Aladdin set himself against me. Let's not talk of one. He belongs to the past, and I think only of my future. You have grown very wise in a very short time, Princess Jasmine. Does that please you? It does. Then drink to it. To the new Sultan of Shamar, I drink. Take 
Pete, I'm getting a brown all day. Genie of the ring. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Genie of the Jewels. Your services were well appreciated. And last but not least, Genie of the Land. I shall always keep you close by. Let peace and prosperity reign throughout the city of Shamar forever. Let's go that way. Hooray! 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 To the city square. Violet. Ah! Drop it, Jamal. Drop it. Never. Drop it. Oh, wicked Aladdin. How did she leave here? How else? Magic apartment. You shamed me in front of a mob, Aladdin. I shall never forgive you. Excuse me a moment? You dare call the Sultana and the Sultan and Princess a mob? Who is this assassin? Jamal the Magician. Jamal the Great Magician. Jamal the Evil Magician. Jamal the Defeated. Chop Chop! Do what must be done. At last! I get to do my thing! <laughs> chop Chop! Wait. Not again! <laughs> Genie of the Lamp. I think Jamal should have a new life. <laughs> Something less violent and give him a help or two. What are you talking about? I know the perfect occupation for Jamal and his sister. What? He'll see. I don't want a new occupation. One and all, smiling Jamal here. I got a deal for you. When you want a lamp, think Jamal and Halima. Our shop is located on the corner by the used kill market in the Old Bazaar. Remember, you can't go wrong if you do business with Jamal and Halima. Drop in and see us anytime. What do you want, Dave? And we'll toss him a fly oh. rug. <laughs> <laughs> she carries on. You should write a story all about this. That's a promise. I'm a lad in your sand, and you know how I possess. With my good friends by my side, we've been on a magic carpet ride. I'm a lad in your sand, I'm Jasmine's number one fan. I'm at your service, at your service. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Let's hear it again for that amazing seventh and eighth grade choir. Thank you. First of all, I want to recognize so many students that have worked behind the scenes that you don't get to see. First of all, I want to recognize my amazing light sound that is up at the board. We got our spot tech, Javi, up on the spotlight. We have Peyton Metcalf on our music board. And we have Trevor Wiley on lights. Now up on the stage, we also had another spot tech. If she wouldn't mind coming on out, let's give it up for Ariana. The next committee I'd like to recognize is our stage crew and props. They did an amazing job, stage crew and props. Our publicity and tickets crew, publicity and tickets, come on out. Our makeup and costume, come on out, makeup and costume. And the young lady you see that is staying behind, she is my first seamstress ever out of an eighth grade choir. She made her own costume and many others. Let's give it up for Erica. I also have amazing dance captains. Let's hear it for Nina and Sarah, our dance captains. I had a fabulous dialogue coach that helped them learn their lines. Let's give it up for Zoe Klingshern. And I could not do it for my, without my amazing student director. That's Willow Holloway. Willow. There are some other people listed in the program that are not up here on the stage. So um, I just want you to know that I couldn't do it without them. I'm very thankful for the amazing support that I have here at Firelands over the years. It's been phenomenal. And again, I cannot thank these amazing 7th and 8th grade choir members. Let's give it up one more time for them. Thank you all so very much. Have a safe trip home. Thank you.